Warm greetings from the High Ten. It is Everyday Shenanigans on this Thursday, July 23rd, 2020. I'm bringing you said information out of Minneapolis. Um, the Washington County Prosecutor has announced on Wednesday that Derek Chauvin and wife Kelly May Chauvin have been charged with underreporting their joint income from 2014 to 2019 by 464 thousand four hundred thirty three dollars and including more than ninety five thousand uh, Chauvin earned with off-duty work a 2020 review has shown that each did not file a Minnesota individual income tax return from 2016 to 2019 and also fraudulent files fraudulent income tax uh, returns uh, were filed from 2014 to 2019 they're each facing five years in prison, max, with a $10,000 fine. Uh, the attorney, Pete Orpit, said that everyone must be held to account and that George Floyd's death has no bearing on the prosecuting office filing charges against Chauvin and his wife for um, non-payment of taxes, state taxes, and so forth. So that is the set of information coming out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. The source is NPR if you need verification for the storyline. Um, nothing shocks me, but what I find interesting is that if you're going back as far as 2014, well, it's now 2020. So for those of you who can count, six years, we're talking about six years, no one gave them an audit the IRS for tax evasion and then all of a sudden charges are brought against him for killing a black man with a knee to the neck and now he has been obviously audited, reviewed, which is so ever, however you want to word it, he and his wife for non-payment of taxes. So we're talking about 464000 plus dollars of money's old very interesting um we will see how this unfolds i will bring you the said information but nothing shocks me with a racist a racist person racist cop which is so ever because my thing is it's no telling what that man had been doing while he was a cop on the force i'm sure there'll be all there will be other type of little secrets and said information coming forth because that's usually how it is. It usually takes one horrible thing to happen and then people start coming out giving their 411 on a storyline and what's baffling to me is that why don't people tell these things or said information about people beforehand? Why does something terrible have to happen and then people want to start telling you stories about their disposition and how they acted, how they behaved. Oh, they had a bad temper or, oh, they were cheating or, yeah, they were defrauding people of money and it's just interesting. But that is the said information coming out of um, Minneapolis. The Washington County prosecutor has filed charges against Chauvin and his wife, Melly, uh, excuse me, Kelly May, excuse me, for tax evasion. And this is a returns from 2014 to 2019. So we will see how the saga unfolds. Um, as I say, nothing shocks me. So glad to be back on and talking to you guys. I hope you all are staying well and have a wonderful weekend because the weekend is kind of, is coming up and I don't know what you guys will be able to do for the weekend since many things aren't open except for restaurants and you know clothing stores things like that. But praying for all of you and praying that this COVID nineteen I, I've decided to call her Covina from now on because she is definitely a woman and a something that ends with itch so we're gonna <laughs> leave it at that but anyway praying for all of you praying for your safety praying that you're having a blessed and prosperous summer cool summer and uh be careful out there and um uh, i will be back with another update like share subscribe drop your comments below and thanks for joining me and this is everyday shenanigans Bye bye